Ooh. Ooh. Ooh! Oh! Alexa, turn the lights off. Okay. Thank you. You guys had no idea what just happened, but I turned my lights off. Yo, what's going on, guys? Not far from gaming here. We're gonna be guys. Today, guys, we're gonna be playing some more Clash Royale. And today, we are gonna be rolling with a Hog Raider deck. Now, I almost have my Hog Raider level 11, guys. I have 28,000 more gold to go. As you guys can see, I bought a few gems. Um, and that is strictly because Clash Royale is making an attempt to bring this game back, and I love it, guys. I love it. Look at this challenge right here. Look at this. Look at this value right there. 162 bands in my pocket. Let's go, baby. But today, guys, we're going to be playing a free-to-play Hog Raider deck. Um, now, if you don't have the log, you can replace the log with the zap. But the reason why I have the log in this deck is for the rascals. We're going to be playing in Grand Challenge today. Once I get this to level 11 and this to level 12, um, I'm going to be playing this on ladder. So you guys are not going to be stuck with just Expo because the Expo is my most leveled up deck. Uh, but guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into a brand new Grand Challenge. Um, the re another reason why I want to play Grand Challenges is basically um, if I win 12 wins... I got a I got a max hog. That's twenty two thousand. I mean that's that's basically it. I'll just gem the rest. You know whatever. We're going we're going up against Enzo though, and hopefully you guys enjoyed my last video. I know a lot of people actually. I don't want to say a lot of people. I'm moving my mic real quick, real fast right now. Boom. And um oh oh value plays with Jacob. Oh swipe it. Um so a lot of people actually not okay. I shouldn't say a lot of people, but someone was hanging my my video the other day, and it kind of kind of upset me a lot. Um just because of what he was saying. Like what he was saying was. Please go into range. Thank you. What he was saying was not really a joke and shouldn't be joked about. And I actually got backlash for it for defending myself and uh, other people that have family members that had it. But I don't really want to talk about it because that will just bring the video down. We're about to destroy this guy. That's what I want to focus on. So let's go like this. And we're going to hopefully log those archers at least. Maybe we get Gucci Gang. We got a knight. Nice. And we're going to get one of those archers. We're going to get one smack, two smack, three smack, four. I'm the little boy with the big old door. I don't know what I'm saying, yo. Um, but we just did use our log, so we're going to have to go with this with the Ice Spirit right here, right quick, right now. Boom! That's what I'm talking about, baby. One shot, two shot, three shot, four. I don't know what I'm talking about, yo. Um, but we do have this cycling deck, and we're cycling pretty quick. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go Valkyrie Hog. This guy's probably going to go um, Knight and then Bandit on my Hog. We'll go ahead and log these archers over here. You've got the tornado, bruh. Not cool, homie. Smack! Oh my gosh, that so should have smacked right there. Should have dunked on the tower 100%. That sucks. No, it doesn't. Wow, that was actually really well played, Jacob. I give you 10... Yeah. Okay. Um, so this guy's gonna go in with the Goblin Barrel right here in a hot second. He's probably gonna go Knight Goblin Barrel now that I'm thinking about it. And I saw Orange Shoes post on Twitter that you can actually spawn the Valkyrie just perfectly. Like, this? Ah, uh, that was bad. Didn't do it. Um, and you can actually take it all out. So what we're gonna do right here is we're actually gonna Fireball this and see if we can get anything else. Let's go with the Fireball. Wow, I so could have gotten that. Um, we'll go with that. We'll set up with a... Cannon right here. Let's actually protect this. Psych, just kidding. Didn't want to protect that. We'll protect that. Psych, didn't want to protect that, actually. Let's go and try to take this out before it gets too much damage on my tower. Because that OP range. Um, or you can just keep hitting my tower. That's fine, too. Let's go ahead with a fireball right here. Gonna hit that knight. That's value, baby. And that archer. He's gonna tornado it. But that didn't really work for you. Because now I'm onto the tower. We're gonna get a hog shot. We're gonna smack that bandit back. But now it's gonna charge right there. Oh, my gosh, guys. It's gonna be insane right here. Um, he's going in pretty aggressive, I would say. Let's go like this, and we'll try to freeze. Oh my gosh, we gotta log it too. Dude, that was clutch. That was clutch. We'll go like this. Now, I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure I can fireball this and then log it. But we gotta use our log very, very wisely. I'm risking it. I'm risking it for the biscuit, baby. We play for them dubs. We don't play for the ties. That's what I'm talking about. Doesn't take the tower out and I lose. That would suck so bad. But guys, that is going to be a first game GG well played against kind of a random deck. I'm not going to lie. So 
Um, I guess we're gonna hop into a few more. I mean, that was the, that was the first match. It's usually not that hard for me. I, I usually can go six and zero in grand challenges. I'm not gonna lie. They're they're basically pretty easy for me. And then once I get to six, I start you know I'll lose I'll lose or I'll start versing hard counters, and that's where it gets a little tough. Um, but that's okay. Uh, if you guys didn't know, I made a video a while ago, and I actually made a strategy where you play the first couple games with one deck, and then you switch decks just because of like how it works. I don't know how to explain it, guys. All right, just. Just try it out, alright? Swap your decks halfway through a Grand Challenge or Classic Challenge um, and see how it goes. So I believe this guy might even be playing the same deck. Nope, just kidding, JK. We're actually going to get three Hog Rider shots right here just because that P.E.K.K.A. does not take it out in two swings, which is great. And this is going to be probably a GG on my point because, uh, yeah, he has the P.E.K.K.A., but I have so many things that counter this right now. Look at the Skellies right here. Okay. Okay, probably should have saved for my fireball, not gonna lie. Let's go with the fireball now. Okay, that could have been a lot worse, and it could have been a lot better. I should not have dropped that ice spirit. I should have saved for my fireball. I got greedy. I got risky. I'm gonna let this ice spirit hit. Get your, get your 100 damage off. I don't care, boy. It wasn't even 100 damage. I spit on my screen, though. Um, let's actually just go with the Valkyrie right here. Swipe or no swiping. Then we're gonna go with the Hog Rider behind, and he does not have enough elixir for the P.E.K.K.A. Don't you dare drop that P.E.K.K.A. on me, boy. All right, so he's gonna go with the Valkyrie. He might have like a tornado or something. I'm not really sure uh, what he's gonna go with here, but honestly, that was a pretty good play. I don't know what what this guy's got. Is this just? He, there's no way he has just a P.E.K.K.A. deck. There's no way. Okay, there it is. There's the surprise. Well, we're tanking, boys. We're tanking out here. Shoot. What kind of deck is this? Like, bro, come on. Homie, what is your problem? Let me get that prediction play real quick. Predicted that hog, right? Or that P.E.K.K.A. baby. That's what I'm talking about. The OP. That was OP. So this guy's going to go 100% balloon in the base right here. So let's go like this. Bring him to the Kang Tower. We're going to walk this bad boy this way. Ooh. Let's get it. We'll go Valkyrie right here to tank that minion horde and the Gucci of the gang. Oh my gosh, dude. I'm actually so good at this game. I can fireball that. Actually, I don't think I can fireball that. Nope. That sucks. We'll go with a fireball. Gotta log it as well. Not gonna get any uh, musketeer shots off right there, but this is gonna be um, really well played if I can pull this off. Alright, we're making progress, fam. We're making some progress. Dude, these hog shots are value. Let's go, baby. Oh my gosh, how did I outcycle that, dude? Oh, you wanna laugh at me? You wanna laugh at me, buddy? I said good game, and you're gonna laugh at me? Okay, I see how it is. I'll hit you with the thanks too. You want some crying emojis? You want some angry emojis? Is that what you want? Is that what you want? Even we had a spectator too. Guys, that was there was no reason for him to laugh at me right there. That was strictly a good game. I'm gonna open my crown chest. If there's a legendary, everyone's getting $20. Just kidding, no one got $20, but hey, we got some uh, rascals right there. Guys, we're doing pretty good. We're going to hop into another one. We're, we're banging them out. That was a very long match. That came down to the very last second, and we clutched up. We would have been able to cycle to another fireball, so we, I knew we had the win for sure. Those hog shots were coming in really clutch right there, but um, there you guys go. That was basically a hard counter. I mean, he had the balloon and the P.E.K.K.A. Like, the balloon, definitely um, a strong, strong matchup against this, I would say. Uh, but the P.E.K.K.A. is really what I thought was going to, um, you know, it would worry me the most. Um, so let's go with a Hog right here and an Ice Spirit as well. If this guy's got the Fireball, rest in peace. If he's got the Log, take another rest in peace. That Tesla just said, psych, brother, I'm out. And that Musketeer is going to get a shot, baby. Oh, my gosh. How did my Hog Rider not get a shot? I'm pretty sure he zapped it. 
and law or no he logged it and electro wizard that's what happened so um we got a musketeer shot off right there not too bad he got no damage so honestly i'm gonna take that trade the tesla is gonna kill me this match i know that for sure um and this guy's basically got the same deck as me except for the fact that um he's got the, the ice golem and he's probably gonna try to prediction fireball um throughout the match right here because i'm dropping this in the same spot every time i gotta learn boy i gotta learn um so let's go with the valkyrie right here then we're gonna go with a, a hog rider right behind there's the fireball i thought was gonna happen but that's gonna stay alive he's gonna log it but now my hog rider's coming in is he gonna have enough elixir my valkyrie's gonna get a swing off right there baby that's what i'm talking about we're gonna get two hog rider shots can we make that three? Oh my gosh that would have been so cool so we're gonna drop the uh skellies right here so that um the electro wizard might get a little bit of damage but not that much honestly oh my oh my gosh he got so much he's gonna probably switch towers on us though um his fireball's not in cycle so we can go ahead and keep playing this in the same spot about right here um whenever he decides to go with it let's just go with a log right here just because we don't want to stack elixir we're kind of playing a cycle deck right now um so there's that right there here comes the fireball he's got it in cycle because he did drop the skellies but we're gonna go ahead and ice spirit that was a clutch ice spirit he's still gonna get a shot off not two shots off are you kidding me bro that was value on his point i'll give him that Let's go like this, and we're going to hit him with that prediction as well right here, baby. That's what I'm talking about. We all about those prediction plays. Let's actually hit him with the log as well. Um, just get rid of that ice golem, and we're going to get a shot onto the tower. Boom. One more. One more. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take that. Let's go like this down low. We're going to drop this up high so we can't prediction fireball. He is going to hit my muskets here, unfortunately, but that was uh, kind of... Um, uh, I, I knew that was going to happen, basically. So let's go with the Valkyrie here as well. Swipe that out of there. Nice. We're doing pretty good. Let's actually just go ahead and get a free Fireball off right here. Just because we didn't go Hog Rider, um, he dropped his Tesla. Kind of an overcommitment. The Ice Golem would have done just fine. Let's go with uh, this. We're actually going to log it back just to get rid of that Ice Spirit, the Ice Golem, and get damage on the tower. He missed the Fireball there. That's why I played it a little bit higher than normal. Um, we're not going to drop another Hog Rider. We're actually just going to cycle him out here. That should be a good game if we can do that. Um, so let's just go Skellies right here. Um, we'll go with the Fireball about now. Ooh, we actually hit that Ice Golem. Nice. Uh, let's drop this up a little bit higher than normal like I said I've been doing we're gonna go ahead and log this back guys and that's gonna be GG It's gonna finish it off basically um, Let's just hit him with the musketeer right here uh, And he has the log and cycle we can actually just go like this to tank for that and fireball this a boom bang bang Oh my gosh, that was closer than I thought it was gonna be holy cow hit him with that good game though That was really well played. I I, I definitely like that deck he had I honestly wouldn't mind using the Tesla instead of the, the cannon But you're just gonna be cycling a lot faster with the cannon than you can with the Tesla, but um, the Tesla would actually help with the Lava Hound decks, especially if they have Fireball Zap, um, which usually you don't really see in Lava Hound decks. You either see Arrows, Fireball, or Lightning, or something around there. But we're going to hop into one more just because um, I feel like we're getting a good variety. We're getting some good matchup. The video's not going to be that long, probably around 15 minutes. I don't know. I haven't edited it yet. yet, yet. So. We're going up against Zero from Venice Pro. Okay, let's see how we do here. We got a little bit of a fan base watching us right now, which is always cool. I love that, guys. If you want to add me on Facebook, links in the description. Follow me on Instagram. Add me on Snapchat. Guys, I'll even respond to you. That's how cool I am. Um, so I don't really like that starting hand. I kind of like the Valkyrie um, to be played. I don't. I think he's probably going to go with a Giant right here or something. And if he does, I'd actually be kind of happy. But um later on on the road i'd rather him play that because um as you can see the skeletons are getting annoying if he played his tank in front right there it would have just shredded what is he doing bro i don't know what he's doing right now but um i believe this guy's got a minor poison but that bomber's throwing me off i'm not gonna lie it's kind of throwing me off a little bit okay he's got a mini peck now this guy i don't know if he's the best of players because he's kind of cycling kind of wild right now unless he's trying to cycle to his main card which is going to be that right there let's try to grab all these over here We'll go like this as well to tank. We'll go like this. Wow, that musket or that Valkyrie is just tanking so much right there, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Musketeer is going to clean that up. We're going to get a Hog Rider behind. All he has is the Witch in cycle that really is going to do damage. He doesn't have his mini P.E.K.K.A. yet. Now he's got his mini P.E.K.K.A. But he's going to go Musketeer on top of my, um, or Miner on top of my Musketeer. But guys, we already did the damage that we needed to do. And we're going to hop right out of there, throw the Ice Spirit down. And we're just going to let that get a couple chip damages off. You know what I'm saying, fam? You know what I'm saying? He's going to get two smacks right there. We got the crying emojis coming in, dude. This could not go any better. The only thing that could ruin this video is if I wasn't recording right now. That would suck. Um, it's happened before. I'm not going to lie. So we're going to drop the Musketeer in the back. I'm tempted on fireballing this um, now. Yeah, I'm going to fireball it now. And then I'm also going to log it whenever he drops the bomber. 
We got four spectators, by the way. So Bomber's probably going to come in around here. We're going to drop it now. I actually just messed that up. But I wanted to go... Oh my... Can I get a rip for this guy? Psych, you're not going to take my cannon out, boy. You're not going to take my cannon out today. Mini Peck is probably going to be played in a hot second. So we're going to throw the Ice Bear down as well just to get um, a good tank off. Oh, just kidding. We're going to hit those bats. Nice. And that Mini Peck is going to be tanked right there. We're actually going to throw the log down. We should get one more smack off right there. Oh my gosh, dude. I'm the best player. Uh, question mark. We're going to save our Musketeer right here and throw the Valkyrie down just to save it. Um... Did not tank for that Mega Minion, unfortunately. But, guys, we are absolutely destroying this guy. There's hands down destroying this guy. We'll go Ice Bear right here. Didn't really have to, but we're going to do it anyways. It's pro probably still going to get a hit, so I just dropped that down. We'll go like this. Uh, we'll go ahead and log it back as well. This is basically going to be GG, fam. I'm not even going to lie here. This is this is a fat dub. Like, we had four spectators. Now we got three. But, like, I would have put the hammer on this guy if we had more time. Like, I could have three crowned him flat out. Um, but we are going to do pretty good work against this guy. So let's just hit him with a good game. I mean, it was well played. I think that guy could have had a better deck if he had maybe uh, the poison or lightning maybe in that deck and took out the bomber. And uh, honestly, I don't know. That was a crazy deck. Um, I don't really see any any save in that deck, but we did go 4-0 guys as you can see like I said I usually go 6-0 um, So it's no big deal, but guys this is the deck right here If you really like this video make sure you hit that like button it helps me out It motivates me a lot and um, it basically just overall boosts my mood um, If you liked it enough to comment make sure you comment down below hashtag NFFG So I know that you made it this far and leave me a nice little comment. And I'll even heart it um, but guys, thank you so much. If you knew, I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe. And like I said, hit that like button if you did enjoy, guys. And I will see you in Saturday's live stream. Peace.